That was a perfect intro. Yeah, that was very singing nice. Penguins. Singing penguins right to us. Should we start singing? I don't think anyone wants to see that. No, we don't want to see that. I don't or feel like they that. do. No. Yeah. Yes. No. Good morning, Cheryl. Good morning. This is so nice. <laughs> it is nice. Good to see it? you. It's a nice comfy couch. You're nice to see you. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. I'm going to wear these, okay? That's okay. what I do these days. Okay. I had him uh, check out and try on my other glasses, but these we've determined are the best glasses for this because we're talking Harry Potter. Because Harry Potter wore a cool pair of glasses mm -hmm. back in the day. Let's talk Harry Potter uh, being turned into a TV series. How yeah. excited are you? I am. I arms feel up. like it should have been done a lot. Just a long time arms ago? up. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like this should have happened a long time ago. But uh, better yeah. late than never, they say, right? Um, it's going to be released into a TV show set to release not anytime soon, 2026. Mm -hmm. uh, series is not fully cast as of yet, but is slated to start filming in the summer. Now, the director shared that 32,000 children wow. auditioned for all the young roles, of course, including uh, the title character Harry Potter played by Daniel Radcliffe right there. The team is on average viewing between, between 500 to 1,000 auditions every single day. Want to be part of that process? No, no. <laughs> I do not, but I think it's going to be huge. It's going to be massive. The, cast, uh, the casting committee is planning to cast children uh, of the appropriate ages, which is good to see. You don't want to see any you know, later teenage years playing the younger ones. No. Um, the first Harry Potter movie, any guesses? Do you remember? 2001. One, right. Yes. Well, 2005 or 2006, I went on a junket yeah. and did one of the early movies. Okay. And I remember interviewing them, and they were all young stars. Yeah. And it was so exciting. I, I hope they don't cast anybody that we know. I hope right. they are yeah. new faces, yeah. just like it was with the original. I'd love to see this be an opportunity for, yeah. you know, the entertainment industry to grow and just get to know some new people and see that spark, that excitement in the series. With 32,000 children auditioning, I'm sure they're going to go with some unknowns in there. And yeah, I hope so. Superstars. I know. Yeah. It's going to be great. Uh, moving on to Scrubs, okay? Uh, writer, director, producer, showrunner Bill Lawrence. Uh, he's also done Cougar Town, Ted Lasso, Shrinking. Uh, he's confirmed uh, that he's in development to reboot uh, his beloved sitcom series, Scrubs. There you go. You can see it right there. The series followed the lives of interns, doctors, nurses, and the janitor at the hospital, uh, which Zach Braff uh, was the lead. Uh, at this point, the show is in early development with no cast attached to the project at all. Uh, they're not auditioning over 32,000 adults. <laughs> but you know, parts, when we talk about cast, smaller scale. I think we need to do, we need to bring back George Clooney. Well, like okay. We are uh, a crossover. And it could be really amazing. I think okay. he needs to consider it. Well, don't, don't forget Howie Mandel then. So forget okay. all the former actors from uh, hospital shows. That's entertainment. Great job. I hope you like that. I did. I, I love the Harry Potter. I love the Scrubs, although I can't watch hospital shows. They freak mm. me out. Yeah. But it's going to be great. More BT after the break. <laughs>